Julian was saying, just a little bit Um, yeah, I guess you call it that. Um, definitely a huge game. But, um, yeah, we're trying to take the approach that it's just another game, another team coming in here trying to beat us on our home court. So we're preparing the same way. So. Is, is that hard to do with the, the D, the D, the D, the chest? Um, yeah, it's, you, you always know when you play Duke, when you get the schedule, you always circle that game because you know they're one of the best teams in the country. And uh, you always want to beat them. So we're trying to prepare and treat them like any other team, but you always know who you're playing. Were you guys doing it last year, beating them on the road? How much does that give you more confidence with this? Um, it's a new season, a new year that, but they definitely changed around the team a lot. Last year they were pretty much one-on-one -on -one oriented. Um, with Austin being there, they had to get him the ball. He was one of the better players in the country. Um, and this year they're just playing, uh, I think, a more traditional Duke style where everybody touches the ball, everybody can get you on any night. Uh, five players are capable of scoring big numbers, so I just think they're a great team this year, and hopefully we can have the same result as we did last year. Miami's never beaten a number one team 0-5 all time. You know, what? obviously we could do something Wednesday night. It's never been done here. Um, that is, that would definitely be a great task. Um, I know when I came here, I actually said I wanted to beat Duke. I wanted to beat Carolina, and I've done that already. But um, I've never beaten a number one team. Uh, I don't think I've ever played against a number one team. So uh, definitely with them coming here at home, with the way we're playing right now, uh, it's a great opportunity for our team, a great opportunity for our program to actually put our name on a, a bigger stage. Do, do you get, uh, you know, you could get ranked today. The polls come out later in the afternoon. but. The, you know, uh, the fact that you guys are number one, I mean, you're, you're, you're first in the ACC, you've only lost three games, you've beaten some good teams. Does any of that bug you even in the slightest that you, you don't get the recognition that maybe you guys deserve? Um, it kind of bugs you. Um, if you see some team being ranked that you think you have a better, um, that you put in more work that they have with their strength of schedule and RPI and all this, but. You can't really let that affect you. Um, you have to go out there and play every night just like every other team does, and the ranking doesn't change that fact. Uh, you have to go out there against any team on any night and play your hardest and play your best because on any given night, any team can come out there and give you a scare or play hard and abs uh, upset you. So every night you just got to go out there and play hard. You're walking through campus. You're sitting in class. Do people? You know, what are people saying to you about the game? Um, there's definitely a huge buzz on campus knowing that Duke's coming in here. Uh, we're on top of the ACC right now. Just walking through campus, everybody's coming up to you. Oh, good luck, good luck on Twitter. Everybody's good luck for the game. So there's definitely a huge buzz going around campus right now with the game coming up. So it's a good feeling knowing that everybody's getting more interested in basketball down here. Yeah, any any interesting stories of people talking to you? Um, not really. It's just more excitement than I've ever seen down here since I've been here for two years. So it's not anything, like any crazy story, just a lot more support. You're leading the ACC in minutes played. I know you're a young guy and everything, but is there any concern that, you know, you have to keep on playing those type of minutes, you know, what it'll, what impact it might have later in the seasons? We, you know, 18 games this year in the ACC plus the, the tournament, plus hopefully the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Um, no, I love playing. Uh, I would play 40 minutes if coach wanted me to. Um, I love playing basketball. Our trainer does a great job in getting us uh, massages to make sure our bodies are uptight, uh, making sure we stay hydrated, um, making sure we're doing, we're lifting weights, making sure we have the same schedule every week just to make sure our bodies are staying in 